Hello. How are you? Especially you, Andre. Uh, he sent in this, this video here. Ten very important inventions you didn't know were Swedish. I bet that's true, because off the top of my head, I, I can't really name... I don't know of any Swedish inventions. So, he says, I think most of them will blow your mind that they came from such a small country and population. Also, dynamite was invented by a Swede. There you go. See that? I didn't know that. That's literally blowing my mind. <laughs> All right, let's watch. Sweden gave the world. Here you go, world. Wait. He just told me dynamite. He spo you spoiled the first one. <laughs> That's cool, though. Dynamite's um, important. It blows stuff up. Perhaps the most famous Swedish inventor of all time is Alfred Nobel. He invented dynamite, but also patented 355 other inventions. I feel like, how did old old inventors used to invent so much stuff? I guess because there was so much stuff to invent. After being condemned for profiteering from arms sales, he donated his fortune. And that just says profiting, now that I see it. <laughs> he donated his fortune to the creation of the Nobel Prize. Wow. Tetra Pak. What is that? What is that? The Tetra Pak was invented by Swedish engineer Eric Wallenberg. I don't know what that is. He set out to create cheap packaging for milk. Oh, it's a milk carton? He achieved this by creating a mathematical tetrahedron with paper. So he made the milk carton, I guess. That's pretty cool. His invention became the basis of one of the world's largest food packaging companies. But I, what are these like? These are like pyramids. I'm not familiar with that. Gunpowder cartridges. Maria Christian. Oh, we're seeing some females on here. It's good to see the representation was Sweden's first military technology inventor. That's pretty badass. She designed a safer storage system for gunpowder charges for cannons. I bet those things used to blow up in people's faces all the time before she came in and made it a little bit safer. That's pretty important. <laughs> Brune overcame skepticism and chauvinism in the 18th century Sweden and was rewarded for her invention as she should be the pacemaker that's a lot of lives right there swedish dr rune elmqvist i've never seen a word or name spelled with a q with no u after it so there you go that's the first one that does not exist in english elmqvist unless that's a typo <laughs> developed the first implantable pacemaker He had to quickly finish the first prototype he created with colleague somebody. As the wife of the Swedish man with serious heart problems pleaded with them for help. Wow. Wow. Imagine having a friend. That's a really good friend. He goes and invents a life-saving device for your wife. Damn, you owe him a beer. That's awesome and served as the basis for today's smaller and more durable pacemakers. Celsius temperature. You guys invented the unit of Celsius. Almost every country uses. Every country except one comes to mind. Um, Andrew's Celsius. Ah, that's a very intelligent scale. You know, zero frozen water to 100 boiling water. It makes a lot of sense. Oh, it says that right here. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it, than Fahrenheit. Celsius also made big contributions to astronomy with his work on planetary orbits and eclipses. GPS in the computer mouse. How are they just gonna roll that up into one? Those are two huge inventions. GPS is freaky to me. As someone born before GPS, or at least before it was used in any kind of like consumer electronics, when it first came out, I was like, You're telling me a satellite in the sky orbiting around the Earth, 
pin can pinpoint exactly where I am down here on the surface all the way down here a thousand miles however a hundred miles away down at the and it can within like 12 feet it knows right where I am kind of scary and amazing and the computer mouse I mean okay I thought Steve Jobs invented that but <laughs> I don't even know why I thought that oh man Two amazing inventions, one inventor, Hakan Lant. He invented both. Now this dude is a legend. Lanz invented a navigation system with GPS and radios called Stigma <laughs> for ships. He also invented the predecessor of the computer mouse and the color graphics in most pe and color graphics. That's three pretty massive things. Safety match. Ah. Matches were poisonous and dangerous. Oh boy. He replaced the yellow math with the red phosphorus and moved the strike surface to the side of the package. Smart move. His ideas helped Sweden become the world's biggest match producer. That's a pretty cool niche. The phone handset. Lars Magnus Ericsson, the man behind Swedish Telecom's giant Ericsson. Wow. I didn't know that was a Swedish brand. Invented the telephone handset. Now, what is the handset? Alexander Grand Bell didn't invent the handset. It revolutionized how telephones were used. Because they used to have, they used to use it like this, huh? It makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Good job, dude. At most desk telephones with With headsets? I thought he said handset. I just want to see. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, he called it a handset, but then he called it a headset. So that threw me off, guys. I assume that just means the part you hold. Zipper. Zippers are cool. Until they break, that is very annoying. But when they when they work, most of the time... I've always thought zippers were pretty freaking nifty. Swedish American Gideon Sunbach didn't didn't invent the first ever zipper. Oh. But he did improve and develop a zipper close to what we have today. I still don't even know how zippers really work. Just hooks into each other. It's a very smart. It works surprisingly well. I'm always kind of, <laughs> anytime I zip something up, I'm kind of amazed. Oh, wow, it worked. Because there's so many tiny little things that need to interconnect. And it does, usually. With the interlocking teeth pulled together and apart by a slider. Yes, indeed. And that was it. Thank you, Alex Dunham. And Storybox TT Wikipedia. Oh, man. Only 2,000 views. You guys got to go check out this channel. The Local. Go check them out. Link down below. There's only three comments. Fantastic. They stole Hawk and Land's inventions, and instead of creating new inventions, he was forced to put all his time and effort into courts. Damn. That sucks. That really sucks. It's so amazing. This is Sweden. This is Sweden. This is Sparta. Good country there, Sweden. Cool. Well, that was fun. Now I know. A lot of good stuff. Zippers, GPS, computer mice. A lot of legendary stuff going on. I don't really, I still don't exactly understand what this is. I don't know if we have packaging like this in America. <laughs> so, but apart from that, I mean, yeah. The gunpowder thing that was safer, the handset and the, Pacemaker, that's a huge one. Um, all right. Shout out to Sweden and shout out to Andre for sending that in. Mm. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.